The following KQED production was produced in high definition. The beef torta was out of this world. I actually don't discriminate against pizza. This is a temple to red meat. You are like a meat to ball. We couldn't see it and we couldn't hear it. Like, whoa, I'm actually in San Francisco. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring me more. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, IT referee Tuan Tiu computes that, well, there are about a million Vietnamese restaurants to choose from in the Bay Area, but he says his pick is the best. You can go for business with friends, family, or alone, and feel confident that you'll sample the real thing. And from bank to laundromat to hip restaurant, this hot spot is where speech technology pioneer Gary Clayton relaxes with a perfect martini or glass of wine. He enjoys its signature dishes, either alone at the bar or with his new friends at the large communal table. The restaurant never fails to please. But first, mortgage broker Susan Jesse guarantees her eatery for lunch or dinner. It's an escape from number crunching at the office. With a traditional menu and table set inside or out, it's a perfect city escape. It's on Fifth Street in San Francisco, and it's called Le Charme. We got the name Le Charme while we were traveling in France. We thought that's a perfect name, Le Charme, for South of Market and bring a little charm to this area. We like to treat our customer here as they are coming to our home. Um, the hospitality is very, very important for us. The menu is a prefix menu. That's what we are known for. Follow the season. They have fresh products from the market, and we try to uh, to change from one year to another, so we don't repeat ourselves. Not always the same dish. It's like, oh, summer is back. Here's a tomato again. No, we do something different. We really love this place because of the outdoor patio. And uh, it, it is an intimate area where we host a lot of wedding, a lot of uh, birthday, and it's just a perfect size for a very intimate event. All of our waiters are French, but friendly. Now, Susan, your office is close by to Le Charme, right? You go there quite often for business lunches. That's right. It's in Soma on 5th and Folsom, and it's great. It's very convenient. And we go there for lunch, you know, with all the girls at work. It's really fun. <laughs> and every, it's one place everybody all agrees on. We all get different things, but uh, what my favorite is the steak and the palm frites, the little French fries. It's mm -hmm. just like in Paris. It's great. And uh, we, or I, I can get the chicken coco vin, which is great. And the, it's such a large meal, you can actually split it with someone. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so much food. And there's no calories, you know, if you <laughs> cut it. Yeah. I do know that. They all escape, so you're all right. Well, we like to eat our large uh, meals in, at lunchtime, actually. Right. And a lot of us play tennis after work, so it works out great. Now, Gary, did you have the palm frites? I did not have the palm frites. I was there for dinner, uh, my first time there. And, and uh, you eat out seven nights a I week. I do. I do, guilty as charged. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's my hobby. Right. I love I love eating out every night. And I hadn't been to Lachon. And I got in there and the first thing that hit me was how romantic it was. Yes. And the orange walls and the sconces and the little three person wine bar. And I walked in there. I'm by myself. And I'm thinking, my God, next time I've got to bring a date. Right. Right. And I went out into the back, onto the patio, and it's a beautiful little outdoor patio, but it's covered with, with clear vinyl sheeting mm -hmm. and twinkle lights and heat lamps and it's really, really nice and the furniture is patio furniture. And I sat down and, wow, it's a prefix menu. I mean, what a great deal. You can have a, an appetizer or a soup, and you can have the entree, and then you can have the dessert for 30 bucks. 
It was terrific, and I had the lamb confit. Uh, onion soup, of course, is French, right? Did you right? try the French wine signature dish? I, uh, I actually, I did. I had a half bottle of Gigondas in 2003, and it was terrific. Right. It's an nice. old friend. Uh -huh. and, uh, but the lamb confit was fantastic. And it the is. beans, and it was, it was really nice and crisp, and it wasn't too salty. It was really nicely done. And, of mm -hmm. course, you're in a French restaurant. You get the French onion soup. You, you really want to see yeah. is how good are they. Right? That's kind of That's one of those favorite. things that you judge a French restaurant by. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, it was raining the night that we went, you know, so it was so nice and cozy and quaint mm. and everything to, to get out from the rain and go into the restaurant and it was the warm lighting. and inviting like you said with the wood paneling you know and the soft lighting. Did you notice the chandelier? It's the biggest one in the city. Have you seen that? Really? We call really? it the Alice in Wonderland ch <laughs> chandelier. It's huge huh. and they have really high ceilings so well, it looks really neat. So I had the, uh, excuse the French, Pyrgordin salad, mm -hmm. which I have coined the meat lover salad mm -hmm. because there was more meat than actual salad in it and it was terrific. Yeah. Terrific. It was every part of the duck you can imagine and it was just, it, it really hit the spot, you know. Mm. And then um, I had the boar shoulder mm. with spatzel. Mm -hmm. Very innovative, mm. you know, very much like a California it's twist. It's more German than French. Uh, it, it's yeah, it's a Chinese, yes. sort of yes. almost Alsatian style. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right. And, and it, was, it was good how they mixed the salt with the boar shoulder and the blandness of the spatzel. It really went together oh, very well. <laughs> absolutely. We've got wine for you. I can only promise you a little cheese over there, Gary. That's <laughs> all I can good, do. Sounds right. good. Yeah. Point. The thing about Le Charme is I thought the service could have been better. Really? Okay. Could have mm. been better. Have you felt really? that when oh, you've been I there before, it. Susan? No, we, we love the service. It's been great every time. It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. Very attentive. Mm -hmm. And even at, I went the other night and it was amazing. You know, I th they, they must love you, Susan, because <laughs> I, <laughs> really? I felt like a neglected child. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, because um, we ran out of wine, then we ran out of water. Oh. And then we, we waited for at least 20 to 25 minutes for somebody to come by and offer you us more. thirstier oh. than usual. Yes, and you know, with the boar shoulder, the salt. Right, and right, right, right. Right. Mine and was the everything. opposite the other day. They kept pouring wine, and, and I only have so much, so I <laughs> thought, oh. you know. You were getting his wine. Yeah, I was yeah, getting yours. You getting your <laughs> overflow. That yeah. sounds like it. Yeah, and, and, and it was just a little confusing as to who worked there and who didn't, because the person who took our check looked like the manager, but he didn't look like anybody else, you know, and, and they actually presented the check to us before we finished our dessert. No oh, really? after dinner drink, right. no coffee, you know. So oh. it was, it was a, little, a little disappointing in terms of service, but in terms of the quality of the food, absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Did you experience the same thing with service, Gary? No, service was <laughs> terrific. Um, and, you know, the fellow who brought out the wine did it very well. I mean, yeah, I had no complaints at all. Right. Huh. And in terms of value, you mentioned that this is, you feel like during a business lunch, certainly there's, Fantastic. because of its location. Right. Um, Huge lunch, mm -hmm. the steak and palm frites for ten fifty. You can't get that anywhere in the city. Right. It's, like, it's like my dinner at lunchtime, so right. it's great. You know, it's funny, the I same love thing with dinner. I mean, it was a prefix menu. Right. We had $30. three courses, 30 bucks. I mean, mm -hmm. that was terrific value. And you get tarte -ta you, you know, their, their signature apple pie. <laughs> yeah. Huge apple tart. Tart. The portions yeah. are mm -hmm. very large. Definitely. I like that. No, right. <laughs> um, Susan, this is your spot, so wrap it up for us. Well, if you're looking for a romantic atmosphere with great food and great wines and the best cappuccino in the city, I think it's a really romantic spot for dinner, and we love it for lunch. It's one place everybody enjoys, so it's a great place for the city. Nice. Gary? I'd do it again, but next time with a date. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tuan. That's so Are you funny. bringing a date too? No, again I, next time? actually, next time I'm not going to bring a date. <laughs> I'm going to have the food, but I'm going to sit at the bar because I want all the attention. Uh. Yeah. I want my water. <laughs> I want my wine. Food is excellent, though. Sit at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to try Le Charme French Bistro, it's on 5th Street at Folsom in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-546-6128. It's open for lunch on Tuesday through Friday, with dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are recommended on weekends, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $30. Go early to sample authentic Vietnamese dining at Tuan's Pick. They close at 9 p.m. 
and you won't want to miss the delicious egg rolls that are nearly as good as his mom, Tuan says. <laughs> Hurry to East Santa Clara Street in San Jose to a place called Yong Tao Restaurant. My mom started the restaurant business with a passion of creating a job for everybody in 1986 with my older sister. Uh, seating capacity of 40 to 50 people, 12 tables, and their popularity grew. We needed a bigger location, so they found this place uh, in 1989, and history was made. Long Tao in Vietnam is like Santa Cruz here. A little bit laid back, not too, not hustling bustle like the Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, a lot of beach fronts, shops, restaurants. All the food here is what you find in Vietnam. I think our ingredients here are the best that we can offer in any restaurants in this type of setting. Our family really thinks that quality is the first thing that we have and, and the ingredient we use has not changed for, since we started. The food coming from Vung Tao is mostly seafood and my mom created these kind of dishes that you find in Vietnam but here is a lot better. Okay, Tuan, how was my Vietnamese there? Yong Tao. Yeah, that, yeah, it, Yong? Was, it was very good. It was very good. <laughs> because, uh, we Americans would say Vong Tao. Of course, right? of course. <laughs> like we say pho instead Exa of pho. Exactly. Right? The Vietnamese pronunciation of it is Yong Tao. Everyone now? <laughs> Yong, Yong Tao. Tao. Okay, we got it. Very good. Now that we are authentic, uh, why is this such an authentic experience for you? Well, you know, I didn't realize uh, how close to home this restaurant really was until I asked my mother how to correctly pronounce the name of the restaurant. And it turns out that it's, it's Yong Ta, which is a city in Vietnam. In the southern part of Vietnam. Yes. Right? And my grandmother grew up there. Oh, that's great. So what's oh, that's more cool. perfect than that? It, it obviously makes sense why it would be my favorite restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you go in there, and if nothing else, you have to try the egg rolls. You know, they're not like the egg rolls that you get at the Chinese place down the street, the takeout, you know? Right. It's really authentic. Now, my mother makes the same type of egg rolls, except my mother's egg rolls are much bigger, you know, because <laughs> she's got a family to feed, so. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's really good. But um, uh, another dish that I always get when I get there is, uh, in Vietnamese, it's called gan chu. And what it is, it's the tamarind soup with mm -hmm. fish in it. Mm -hmm. You know, and the mm -hmm. fish is so good. You use the ladle and y you try to debone it with the ladle, and it falls right off the bone. Wow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. You know, if you like frogs' legs, French food, frogs' do. legs. I actually do. I actually like mm -hmm. frogs. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> 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 you know, and and the staff there is always attentive. There's so many different types of people there. People go there on dates. People go there for right. business luncheons or dinner. When I was there, right. And San Jose has, a, has really a huge. Um, I've heard the largest Vietnamese population in the United States. I would. So that. there's a, a quite a plethora of, of Vietnamese restaurants to right. visit. Yeah. Well, I went in as a skeptic because I don't eat Vietnamese usually, but I loved it. I was really surprised. Surprised. I really enjoyed it. What was it that you liked about it? Was it the, the freshness of it, the sauces? And the, which I'm very touchy on my spices. I don't like it hot spicy, but this was delicious with mm -hmm. the sweet spices. Mm -hmm. And I had mm -hmm. a lot of their specialties, and the egg rolls were really great. Weren't they? Yeah, my date <laughs> knew to order that, and wow. they were really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'm going to have to be the... the uh, the, the naysayer the, in the crowd? The, <laughs> dissident, the <laughs> dissident voice here. Mm -hmm. I, I had a not such a good experience with this restaurant, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, that's right, he's not going to hit you. It's no, no, no. Right. I mean, I, I, I'll hide behind <laughs> you. I'll, I'll make sure to you, trust me. Um, what happened? And it was pretty much from top to bottom, I, I was really disappointed. You know, I, I drove all the way from San Francisco, it's like 45 miles. Yes, right. it is Almost far. an hour to get there. It is far. Got in there, and, you know, the furniture was, you know, really sort of standard, and, but uh -huh. it's all about the food, right? Right. right. And, uh, you know, th it was the, the, the sort of the cheesy music in the background, uh, the elevator music, and I got seated, and, um, I like the soft music. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, soft music. I mean, this yeah. particular case, it was it was not exactly. It was more musicy than music. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I ordered the uh, I guess it was shredded pork rolls. Rolls, yeah. And uh, they were really sort of tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for my entree, I ordered the the sea bass, mm -hmm. served Thai style, and uh, the f the fish was really fresh and flaky, and mm -hmm. it was, um, looked like it had been. Um, deep fried and the coating was really good. But it was sitting in a pool of a really sort of a, a sweet and savory sauce, a Thai sauce, I guess they called it. Mm. And the sauce had o really overpowered the taste of the fish. Oh, really? And the service was, was okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I was, you know, having driven that far, I have to say I was a little disappointed in the place. Is this, nor yeah. I, I mean, 
have you always had good experiences at this restaurant? Absolutely, yeah. mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, the wait staff was very helpful, mm -hmm. that I noticed, uh, in recommending dishes. I had their specialty, I really splurged, and I ordered a plate, it was this big, of 10 huge tiger prawns out of this oh. world, mm -hmm. and that made my whole dinner, actually. Right. Wow. I really splurged, it was really great. And, and the restaurant is very clean. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. very clean, and uh, and it's not your natural, you know, your Vietnamese dive. He's that looking at me like he's looking at me like. It's it's I, it's I had not a little bit different experience. <laughs> really, yeah. Yeah. my table seemed a little bit dirtier, stained. Really? I just wouldn't, didn't want to rub the table to see which was actually the case. Oh, uh, maybe bad. I was there on an off bad. night, and there was a youngster who was my, who was my waiter, and uh, the help was was fine. It was attentive, mm. but it was certainly not expert in any way. Mm. Right. Uh, but did you feel like you got value, Susan? I do. It was great, mm -hmm. and they have uh, the authentic drink that my date had, I was a little afraid to try it, but <laughs> it had a lot of fruit and things in it, you know, it was really, it was really good, it was like a dessert. And, right. and that's the testament to its authenticity. Exactly. Is that that's what people, th those are the type of the des desserts that you would eat in the summertime mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to cool yourself off. Did you guys try any of the salads? Because they're very light and refreshing. Did not. Yeah. No, I had so the egg rolls. Oh, yeah. That's First. something that they should look for. Yeah, the salads are really? very, they're good all year round, but it's, it, it really is nice in the summertime, you know. All right, well, if uh, people are willing to drive or live in the South Bay, tell them why they uh, should go visit Yongtao. There's authentic food, and if you want authenticity, you go there. No need to go to Vietnam, go to Yongtao instead. All right. Well said. <laughs> Gary. Yeah, I have to say, it was a long drive home. I was sort of disappointed, and uh, maybe I'll wait until maybe they open a branch here or something like that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Susan? <laughs> well, I really enjoyed it, and I love that they had their own parking lot. It was very easy. It was great. I drove 45 miles. I thought it was well worth it, wow. and I loved the tiger prawns. It was really great. I was her date. <laughs> Nobody knows that. <laughs> no, I had, no, I had a date, and he, he enjoyed it. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Good. So that was always good. <laughs> if you would like to try Yongtao Restaurant, it's on East Santa Clara Street in San Jose. The telephone number is 408-288-9055. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are accepted and the average tab per person without drinks is around $20. Gary is puzzled that his place continues to maintain such a high standard of food and service, despite the fact that it's so busy. Just north of the Panhandle in San Francisco, it's the location that gives it its name. On Divisadero Street in San Francisco, the restaurant is Nopa. Local Organic Sustainable is, is Nopa, in essence. And, um, we don't make a big deal about uh, it on our menu. In fact, you don't, don't even see the word organic on our menu. Rather, we just do it. We're working with a, an average of about 54 small local organic Bay Area farmers, and we're here to show who the heroes are. It's the farmers. We get out of the way of that produce. NOPA stands for North of the Panhandle. What we knew is that this neighborhood was changing, and um, it's its own entity the very center of San Francisco geographically. We're proud to celebrate that. NOPA is open very late. Um, we open till one o'clock, and in our sort of big city, um, we have sort of a small city mentality where at 9.30, sort of uh, everything is wrapped up. Um, you go to the movies, you go to the theater, and afterwards you have uh, no place to go. At 12.55, you walk into this restaurant, we've committed to feed you, and, uh, and we do so. What I'd like for people to experience at NOPA is not Mecca. They're not here to uh, have the experience of a lifetime, rather just a very solid experience. Great service, delicious, simple food, and to feel great about themselves the next morning. All right, Gary, you eat out seven nights a week. I, you, I mean, come on, you experience uh, so many restaurants. Why do you keep going back to NOPA? I love this place. <laughs> I love this place. I can't, I can't even count the number of times I've eaten here. Huh? Um, I think at this point I've had everything on the menu. Right. Every appetizer, every entree. Um, it re it's San Francisco incarnate. It's one place that reminds me of all the values of San Francisco. I walk in the place, the energy is really up. It feels like 
It feels like that great cocktail party without the, without the DJ in the background kind of a thing, where the energy is up and people are having a good time. And how did, how is does the staff manage to keep everybody going? The place is three deep at the bar. The common table are people hovering, waiting to get a seat. Every seat in the place is taken. And it's a big place. It's I mean, a big place. We're and a you big got place, yeah. place, you know, you got tables downstairs. You got tables upstairs. Right. And uh, the chef, the chef Lawrence. Right. He Lawrence stands, Jossel, He and his wife Allison own the restaurant. They own the mm -hmm. restaurant. Uh, she runs the house. He runs the kitchen. That's right. And uh, he watches every plate that comes out. Every plate. He's got to, you know, make sure everything is absolutely neat and tidy. And it, oh man. And he has such a pedigree of, of La Folie for 17 years, working with oh, Roland really? Passo, and um, you know, lots of, of. He's a master. Absolutely, Kokari, Chenu. So. Yep. He's mm -hmm. been around and. Uh, it's a local place. Every, all the locals are there. That's exactly right. It's a local place. That's the place. energy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people walk great. from the neighborhood, and it mm -hmm. has gotten such a word of mouth. And, and, it, uh, and it almost has to be neighborhoody because of the parking situation, right? Yes. Oh, the parking <laughs> absolutely, absolutely is, is the worst. I mean, sometimes I'll I drive around for 30 minutes to get parking. Really? I got the spot mm -hmm. right, right next to it. Mm -hmm. To wow. me, it's worth it. Yeah. Did you, uh, what was your experience at Nopa? You know, Did you have a good time? The, the food was good. The food was very good. We had the french fries <laughs> as an appetizer. With the garlic? Yes. Oh. I didn't realize that it was actually meant for a small country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we ordered it along with two or three other side dishes. to the neighbors at the... Uh, really? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah on the communal table. Uh-huh, there you go. And, and you're right. We, we went on a, su a Sunday night and it was packed. Packed mm -hmm. full of people. We got our seats right away, but there were so many people there that I was glad that I went on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and the, and as I said, the, the food was excellent from start to finish. Service. Mm, mm, oh really? Mm. Yeah, we took a little nap between our appetizer <laughs> and our main course because that's all right. That's why they have those those nice banquets <laughs> so you can kind of rest. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you know. So a good conversation time with your dates. Right now, Susan, what did you have when you went to Nova? Oh, I had the pork chop, and it was unbelievable with rosemary on it. The seasoning was great. Best pork chop in the city. It really is. I, I, I know all of them. <laughs> and again, <laughs> and the Chef um, really focuses on organics and right. sustainability. And the rotisserie chicken is famous, and that's what my date had, and he, it was it was really incredible. The highlight for me, though, was we were sitting above upstairs, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. looking out at the restaurant, those windows are huge. Right. And it was mm -hmm. a rainy night, and we got, you know, the Muni bus is driving by, mm, and nice. the windows are like 20 feet high with mirrors in between. It was beautiful. I go for atmosphere, and that right. it really had a great atmosphere and a great energy with the local people. It was, an, it was an old bank, an old bank yeah. of America. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can and tell. Uh, actually, the before. wine cellar is in the vault. The old, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I love the wine cellar. It was really cute mm -hmm. how they set that up with the gate there. Gary, when <laughs> yes. you go, um, what else do you like to eat? The pork. What other signature uh, dishes? Boy, do you their enjoy? entree of, of their uh, their baked goat cheese mm -hmm. uh, with their pickled beet salad and the frisé and the crostini. Mm -hmm. um, oh my God! I mean, there's a lot of places in town that serve this. But this is the place where I where I had it first a couple of years ago, and I, every time I go in there, it's either that or they've got the salad with a poached egg. And the wilted green. The bacon. Oh, and the man. Yes, bacon and eggs. That. Fantastic. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. It's just great stuff. I like to go in there, sit at the community table at the bar, mm -hmm. and order a Belvedere martini with a twist and just sort of, <laughs> <laughs> sort of kick it. it. <laughs> yeah, life is good. Living the dream. So you, prefer, you prefer that community table? Yeah, I really like yeah, or, I or, or I want to go really back good. to that. Mm. What's really good is it's back by the, where they make the flatbreads, by the, you know, the pizza uh -huh. ovens. And the chef is too. standing sort of looking at these. Yeah, he's sitting right next to you, and there's like four four seats right there at this little bench and to be able to watch the energy of the kitchen and see how everything is like it's right. choreographed like a ballet right. yeah. it's really cool to watch so either there or at the bar or at the communal table now <laughs> what what other dish did you have or dishes we had the duck absolutely incredible you yeah. know it was so lean it was so tender it was really really good mm -hmm. and we had the braised calamari, I think it was, oh. um, and it, it, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of food, very generous portions, you know, everybody was extremely happy. Good. And the wine list is eclectic. Um, but it's good. Excellent. I mean, it, it's not huge, but it's exa it's, mm -hmm. it's well chosen for the meals that they serve, and uh, there's always something there, and they're perfectly willing to help you out, and they've got some nice dessert wines, and again, getting back to the dessert. Uh -huh. <laughs> because it's all about dessert. Well, about dessert. Uh, you know, you know. Um, I started off with a uh, blue bottle Started off. How many did you have? <laughs> the, the, the dessert portion of the evening. Oh lord! The dessert portion of the evening. I had a wow. blue bottle coffee martini, and then uh, the warm chocolate cake. Oh man! <laughs> I'm oh. gonna have to oh. revive him over here. <laughs> what did you feel about the pricing? Uh, I, I thought that it, it definitely was worth the price. 
It, but it, but don't go there on a budget. Right. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, don't and, go there and on a budget. Susan, did you feel? I the thought same? it was very fair price for San Francisco. I ordered a lot right. of food, and you know it was great. I thought it was very fair price. Mm -hmm. All right, this is your restaurant, Nopa, Gary. So uh, <laughs> bring it home for us. Well, I tell you, every time I go and I have the dessert, I know the next morning. I'm going to be hitting the gym, <laughs> but man, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now? I think it's California cuisine at its finest. You know, go on an off night, go hungry, and leave satisfied. Hmm. All right. And Susan? I thought it was very unique, great setting, great romantic restaurant, and really great food. So I will definitely go back. If you would like to try NOPA, it's on Divisadero at Hayes in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-864-8643. It's open every day for dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $30. Well, I have to thank my great guests on this week's show, Susan Jesse, Tuan Chu, and Gary Clayton. <laughs> First, Susan's restaurant, Le Charme French Bistro, offered a warm welcome to Tuan, but failed to follow through with the service. Gary, however, walked away happy after a good value meal. He'll go back with a date. <laughs> Tuan's pick of Yung Tao restaurant won Susan over. Normally picky about the spices, she loved it all and plans to go back soon. Gary, however, was disappointed, wanting smaller portions and definitely more attention to detail. And Gary's Nopa has Susan craving the dishes again. It won't be long <laughs> before she goes back. And Tuan acknowledged it as California cuisine at its best. A couple of hiccups for our guests this week, but otherwise quite a congenial and happy crowd, huh? <laughs> for more discussion, you can visit the website at kqed.org slash check please, and you can learn about the wines we've been tasting today, along with comments from our viewers. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. 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 We love it. This show is available in high definition, Comcast On Demand, and via podcast. For additional information on the restaurants featured, to comment, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash check please. A KQED television production.